What is up guys, Kudos here bringing you a new video on how you can set up folding at home but only from command line. Like let's say you have a home server or something and you want to set it to fold but you don't know how to do it because you can only SSH into it or whatever. And um, well, this tutorial will show you how you can uh, set up folding at home from a command line. So firstly, you're going to want to go to this website and follow these instructions. I'm going to do that uh, right now as to follow this. But the interesting bit is going to come after we're done with this. And because this will only set up um, the folding, but you won't be able to check your stats or anything. After this tutorial, though, you will. So let's get started. Let's move into desktop, for example, whatever folder you want. And let's create a folder called Folding at Home. Let's see, there it is. Uh, so let's change into that. And you can see it's empty. So now we want to download uh, the files link there. But I'm going to cheat a little bit because I've already copied these commands over here. This will download the necessary files that you need to run folding at home. So you just copy these and copy the last one. I forgot to do that and now paste. Okay, now we've downloaded all the files. Now what you got to do is actually install uh, the client and the control. Um, they also tell you to download the viewer, this one right here, which we won't use, but I, I know it works by installing it. So I just go ahead and do that. So once you run the first command, It'll prompt you, it'll take you to the screen, and it'll prompt you to set up uh, your identity. I'm just going to call myself Kudos. You can change this later in the web interface, so don't worry about this part. Uh, folding team number, I'm going to leave it zero. You can put a uh, team if you want to fold for a team. Okay, and passkey, you can get a passkey from uh, the website, but that's uh, beyond the scope right now. So I'm going to just set it to full because this uh, computer is a computer that I have separate from mine. I don't need uh, for anything else. And uh, we're done. And set it to start automatically. Hit enter for this. Okay, now it's going to run that. And uh, you might get this error, but don't worry about this. We'll fix that in a second. Now we want to install the control. Sorry, move this way over there. Now that all that is installed, we're going to set up the web interface. Now the next thing we're going to do here is run this command that is found on the website. Remember, all these links are in the description to stop the service, actually, because we want to stop the service for what we're going to do next. It's stopped. Now, you want to find out your local IP address. So if I go IP config, since I'm on Windows, you can see my local IP is this one. So because we're going to need this for later. Now that I stopped, I want to go into the configuration file that can be found here. So just go ahead, Oi, wrong command prompt. Just go ahead and edit this file with your favorite uh, text editor. I'm just going to use nano because I'm basic. And go to the end down here and paste this snippet of code that will be uh, pasted down in the description. So copy that, paste it over here, and modify the address to what your address is. Now, before I do this, I want to demonstrate because I have it here. As you can see, I'm accessing um, uh, the IP address here 
of the computer in my home network, not my personal computer. This link is what will be used. But if I run this, you can see it's uh, folding at home uh, because I had it set up uh, previously, but it's there's nothing. It's, it's not doing anything. Now, once I finish with this, I have to modify it. It was dot one, dot 36, dot one, dot 36. And you can go ahead and save. Now we want to start the service. Perfect. Now it's started. Now, well, you need to know the IP of uh, this computer, of the computer, uh, your server computer, the one that you set this up in. So if I go over here, here it is. This is my IP. Oh, you can see it even refreshed itself. I'm folding as kudos, team zero, and I can change identity, change my name, change my team number, change my passkey, everything from the web interface, easy. You don't have to touch the command line ever again. You just go uh, put uh, your the local IP address of that computer in your network with this socket. It takes a bit to start folding, so I'll cut and uh, start recording again when it actually starts to demonstrate how it works. Okay, here we go. As you can see, it started folding. You can tell because this will turn green and it'll start uh, doing this rotation animation. You can change the power. You can change when. Uh, again, uh, you can control everything uh, from the web interface. You can support research fighting different diseases, your, your choice. I did change my identity uh, because I do have a passkey and a passkey will give you more uh, priority as far as I understand uh, in them sending you work units. Keep in mind this took about 10 minutes to start um, folding and receiving a work unit. Um, this might be for various reasons. Uh, the point is it starts uh, folding and uh, now you can just let it run. If you want more details, you can run this uh, command, uh, fah client dash dash help, and it gives you a bunch of uh, commands and uh, details on what they do and such. Like you can send all finished work units and exit with this command. You can send and finish, finish the slot or all slot. And it, it like you can customize it even more but this was a basic you can start folding uh, it's easy and straightforward and you have the web interface GUI to help you out hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was uh, helpful and I hope that you start folding and contributing to the current situation thank you for watching I'll see you next time